He said Netflix special. I fucking wish, man. How we all doing tonight, man? Good? Awesome, awesome, man. Give it up for the comics who've uh, went up earlier. Guys? Awesome. Man, this whole uh, experience with this hurricane that just went down recently has brought a lot of people from like Beaumont and Louisiana into like San Antonio, you know, because of the hurricane. And it's also brought people from Louisiana. And I've lived in Louisiana for a few years, okay? So this is like some inside baseball shit, right? I, I'm on my patio last night on the hotel, right? I'm smoking a cigarette. And I see this chick turned around and I'm like, damn, she's, she's hot, you know? And then it, she turns around and I'm like, oh, it's a guy. Oh no, I fell for that, right? It was a struggle. So I'm smoking my cigarette. The individual, I don't wanna gender specify, you know what I mean? I don't wanna get in trouble here. So the individual decides to come up to me and goes, hi daddy, <laughs> can I get a cigarette? And I was like, sure, no problem, right? So I take a cigarette, toss it down, and she goes, can I get the lighter? And I was like, all right. So I gave her the lighter. She throws it back up. And then you're expecting a thank you and you move on, right? That's the usual interaction there. But what ended up happening was she looked me dead in my face and I'm turning this backwards like I'm Ash Ketchum because this is about to get serious, okay? She looks at me and goes, do you want your dick sucked? And I was like, what? Like, what kind of response is that? I gave you a cigarette, now you want to suck my dick? <laughs> like, seriously. I got nervous. I didn't know how to, like, in my, like, I'm crazy. So I'm like, that'd be a good bit, you know? But then I'm like, then I would have to let, like, a dude or a female, whatever, go down on me and I, I wasn't ready to take that plunge, right? And I'm walking down by the river walk today and I'm hanging out with my boy Frankie G. Shout out to Frankie G real quick. You already know. And, uh, woo, yeah. <laughs> and I see this guy, he's got the, like, the tank top on, the gold grills. He's like, what up, bruh? You know, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? And he comes up to me, he goes, bruh, what's up with them kicks? And I was like, what's up with them? I like them. But he got like all in my space. And I'm like, first of all, six feet. Come on, it's a pandemic. But then you're gonna come up to me and like ask me about my shoes. And now I feel threatened. I know I look tough, <laughs> that's a joke. Um, but I, I try, right? I try to front like I'm, not, you know, I'm from Brooklyn, I gotta represent. But then I have this like inner complex where I'm like, I know I'm a bitch. Like I can run, I'll run. I'll, I'll knock down my girlfriend if we're in the situation. She better be able to recover, you know what I mean? Cause I'm out, for real. And coming down to the valley was a real culture shock for me. It was really like a shock. Cause I thought, like I'm Puerto Rican. I, I, I'm really like a white boy inside a Puerto Rican body to be honest with you. But I thought I knew Spanish. So I went to the grocery store for the first time when I got to the valley. And this lady looks at me and she goes, Como estas, mijito? Uh, ¿Qué quieres? And I'm like, all right, I got this. Necesito, right? And I do my thing. And then she started speaking like real Mexican. She started saying chingado and all that. I, I didn't know what was going on. And I was like, I am out of my fucking element at this point. It was scary. I was like, you know what that is? And I felt for the first time like what black people must feel when they see cops, right? Fear. Because I'm like, I'm Spanish, but she's doing some like, she's remixing Spanish and I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do with that. I grew up, whey protein was a fucking, a protein. Like you, you me heads took it, right? I'm in the valley. And I'm like, you know, 
I'm not I'm Puerto Rican from New York. How do I sound that way? <laughs> Dude, I would take you. I went from like literally, like Taco Bell was Mexican to me in New York City. And I come out here and I'm like, yo, let's go to Taco Bell. And motherfuckers give me the eye. They're like, no, ojo, 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 ojo. And now there's ghosts at my house and I don't know what to do with this information. Should I get somebody with a sana sana with a seven up? I don't fucking know. It's like I'm a fish out of water here, man. But Jacob mentioned earlier, that there's a couple potheads in here and I love it. I love smoking weed, man, right? And I've been smoking so much recently that like my girl, when she's on her period, like I'm trying to like do my thing and she shuts me down. So then I'm like, I know I'm not getting pussy, but then because I'm high as shit, like I start narrating in my head like I'm David Attenborough. And I'm like, the young stallion settles into bed. The lawyerness wants none of him. What is he to do? <laughs> what? <laughs> Give it up for jokesters, everybody! I'm like, fuck, and they all mean they said, like, get the fuck off the stage. I feel like someone they got that wah, wah. I'm like, where's Don Francisco? You know? How do I recover from that? Anyway. Um, yeah, right? Going back to me trying to jerk off in the bed with my girl. So, <laughs> the young lion starts to stroke, trying not to make a ripple in the ground. The young lioness. <sighs> Silence from the young cub. He starts to shrug. Oh, it's magnificent. In his natural habitat, right? And then the worst part is I'm, listen, it's my bed. I'm not, I'm not at a hotel, so I'm not trying to like just dispose, right? Because it's nasty, and I don't want to do it, right? I gotta clean that in the morning. So the hardest part is trying to get out of bed while holding your cum in so you don't wake your girlfriend, and then because your shorts or boxers are down to your ankles, you do this all the way to the bathroom. And then because you're hard, you guys know what happens, right? You let go, and then the pee comes, and it goes all over. Fuck, I thought I knew how to control my dick, you know? Anyway, guys, thank you for your time. My name is Junior Hernandez. Give it up for yourselves. Give it up for your hosts.